Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're gonna do a little something different. Normally it's outdoors. You know, the last couple places. Today we're going indoors. A little place called Haslam's Bookstore. You're like, oh well, great, we looked for Tiny Bigfoot and we saw a potential time rift and time travel. Now we're going to a bookstore. No, trust me. I wouldn't be going to a bookstore for this morning now, would I? No, Haslam's bookstore is alleged to have uh, paranormal activity. You know, books flying off of shelves, uh, shadow figures, you know, apparitions. So let's go down and see what we can find. If nothing else, well, we'll see some really cool books, hopefully. All right, let's do this. Okay, this is clearly not sponsored because Nobody would know who I am. I'm nobody on YouTube. Still, I mean, I made movies, but, you know, this whole exploration is new. But, dude, had to show you. What? Sweet. 24 ounces. Resealable. I can go. You know, get 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 some energy and keep going. And get going. And keep going while I'm going. And when I get going, I need you to get going. Because I've got going. Because I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to stop now. Bookstore. Of course, it's not much of an exploration if we stand outside, now is it? Let's head in. Maybe at all.
been in here a little while, I'll be honest. I haven't seen or heard anything strange, paranormal, so to speak. But I'll be honest, the longer I'm in here, the stranger I feel, almost stretched out. Like, like not taller, but stretched out inside myself. It's like my feet aren't touching the floor, and it's very odd, to say the least. And the cat just keeps staring me down like I'm the biggest cat treat on the planet. Not like he's going to eat me, I mean. I mean, just like... There's something definitely different about me the longer I'm here. It's almost uh, surreal. Honestly, it keeps drawing me back. Every time I think I'm gonna leave, something draws me back in and it's very strange. Like two magnets pulling on each other, but I don't know why. If nothing else comes out here and spend the 20, 30 minutes, I'm gonna start to feel a very unique sensation. Quite seriously. No, no, no. I'm not sure how to explain it. Definitely different. Okay, well, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was cool. Haslam's Bookstore, definitely a place to stop. I mean, a little disappointed I didn't really find anything, I guess, supernatural, sort of like what I was looking for. But, I'll tell you what I did find. Now, you know who Sherlock Holmes is, or you may not. I'm sure, you, you know, if you're above the age of 10, you know who Sherlock Holmes is, and of course his brother, Mycroft. Now, I have always been a big Sherlock Holmes fan. And as you can see, I found a book about Mycroft Holmes, about his brother. Which, in and of itself, not that unique, right? It's not so much who it's about, it's who it was written by. Yeah, that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. A, ba you know, a well-known basketball player and, well, what was the actor too, wasn't he? Was that him in the Bruce Lee movies? Well, I really haven't watched a well, Bruce, Bruce Lee movie in a while. I think what, yeah, I think it was Enter the Dragon. The dude who's just like, bah, bah, you know, across uh, Bruce Lee's chest, big footprint on his chest from the fight. Didn't even really get up to fight him at first. He's just like, fool, please. And of course, the suit that Bruce Lee wore inspired the suit that the bride wore in Kill Bill. So there's a little bit of trivia there. Obviously, I mean, you could look at it and go, oh, well, duh. Didn't get much supernatural. Other than I did, honestly. I started to get this weirdest feeling. I just like, like the air was different. I felt like I was floating at points. And sometimes it, you'd hear whispers. And I, I've, you know, the place is full of people. So I figured it's just somebody, another customer or something. I'd look and there'd be nobody there. So there, you do hear whispers. You do sort of feel that feeling like you're being watched. And like I said, that weird sort of floaty feeling, sort of disconnected and it's really cool. So yeah, I definitely, I definitely recommend you can come ghost hunting and come exploring. Definitely, if nothing else, come down here because you're bound to find some unique stuff. Really? Anyways, ah, wow. Uh, yeah, no, but definitely come down to Haslam's Books if you're ever down in uh, uh, St. Pete off Central Avenue. Very cool place. And the people who work there, awesome. And I didn't get any footage because he kept avoiding me. But no, the cat came out and was sitting on the counter. But every time I go to get video, it just sort of disappeared every time I turn around. So it was a little funny. But yeah, you get to see cats. You get to see cool books. It's just a really cool environment. So yeah, definitely uh, come explore. Because that's what we that's what we do, right? Because we're explorers, damn it. Yeah. Uh, see you around next time. This is like the third parking sign I've seen for Haslam's. They have like a lot of empty buildings and a lot of parking for Haslam's. And, and a lot of traffic.